Chloe, it's Rian from Project Rian. Kyla from Project Rian. So what are we doing today, Kyla? I am going to show you the difference between good brows and bad brows. In many cases, like in cosplay or dressing up as a J-Rocker style visual K or something like that, I always see people's eyebrows and I find that even if they have like really good makeup in the eyes and the face, it's the eyebrows that let me down. So, I'm going to teach you what generally most people do wrong and a more natural way to get the same effects you're looking for, you're yeah. actually looking for. With this one, this secret, you can become just as good as Kaido, literally by watching this video. Ah, senpai, senpai, ano sa, sono koto wa yakusoku wo hoshi o shite, uh, arimasen ka? Probably a lot of people who are new to Visual K know that the eyebrows are fake as fuck and then they go out maybe a simple shadow, like MAC, and they just paint the brows, like, hey motherfucker, what's up? Mm -hmm. And they try and make it like, pointy, I mean, kind of like, thick here, like pyramid, illuminati confirm. And then they kind of just drag it out, they don't trim the eyebrows or anything. I mean, they cut it a little bit, but that's it. Because they think, once you look angry, that looks like Visual K. Alright, so that looks angry enough. Woohoo! So now I'll do this one. Face this way a bit. Okay, so those are the bad brows. And then sometimes I've noticed people actually bring it a bit too close, so they'll go like mega, mega close. Oh man, all your work to make you look good looking, <laughs> and now you're just gonna make me look terrible. Let me see if that's And to look really good. You, um... Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And you also gotta add the super weeboo thing here. What the fuck is that? I don't know what it is, but it feels bad and it's making me sad inside. Now pull a really angry expression at the camera. Now I'm really shocked. <laughs> you know, I once got in trouble for calling a Shalankan guy a curry puff. <laughs> but it wasn't even me. It was my friend who called him a curry puff on my birthday. That's so funny. And I was just reeling the story because it was show and tell. I'm like, okay, I have my birthday party at McDonald's. My friend called, my other friend a car bomb, and I got sent out of the room. That's really funny. How's that fair? That's really funny. Tell me how that, how's that fair. Usually because it's your asshole, so everyone thought it was you naturally. No, but I even said it, like, Seth, my friend said it. Okay. Um, Bullshit. so, that was recording. That's really cool story time. So for good brows, if you want good brows, you don't need them, but you can have them. No, you actually do need them. Don't listen to her, she's an idiot. I mean, listen to her, but don't listen to her. You should learn to trim your brows if you haven't already or shape them nope. to a minimal shape and what I mean by that is you don't need to have the complete um, visual K eyebrow looking thing because that can be filled in you just need to have the basic shape of the brow mm -hmm. and one of the things that I know men can't do is their pussies and they don't want to use tweezers so what you can do is ta-da! What's up? Ta-da! Hey dildo! Joking. It's this thing here. She wishes. And you turn it on. It vibrates like a dildo. Don't need it. No one can see your head shaking anyway. And basically, you can shave away all the mess that you were born with. So, Aww. let's go. And 
there, you got some skizzes. Mm -hmm. And you still have some residue from your bad eyebrows. And then... Sure, we need to clean it off again. And don't chop all of it up. Just chop like the little ends where it's like... This is all ありがとうございました。このビデオは僕の原曲からえっと設置でお願いします。じゃあね。